Um, I want to start off my message with a joke that I saw on the internet. Most of you have probably heard of it, but I thought it was funny, so I'm gonna read it. Okay. A couple from Minneapolis decided to go to Florida for a long weekend to thaw out during one particularly icy winter. Because both had jobs, they had difficulty coordinating their travel schedules. It was decided that the husband would fly to Florida on a Thursday and his wife would follow him the next day. Upon arriving as planned, the husband checked into the hotel. There he decided to open his laptop and send his wife an email back to Minneapolis. However, he accidentally left one letter off her address and sent the email without realizing his error. In Houston, a widow had just returned from her husband's funeral. He was a minister of many years who had been called home to glory following a heart attack. The widow checked her email expecting messages from relatives and friends. Upon reading the first message, she fainted and fell to the floor. The widow's son rushed into the room and found his mother on the floor and saw the computer screen which read, To my loving wife, from your departed husband. Subject, I've arrived. I've just arrived and have checked in. I see everything has been prepared for your arrival tomorrow. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you then. Hope your journey was as uneventful as mine was. P.S. Sure is hot down here. <laughs> okay. So praise the Lord. It's so great to be standing here before you all today. I thank Pastor for letting me stand up here and speak and happy Pastor's Appreciation Day. Um, so today I'll be sharing from Matthew 3.12, which reads, his winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn, and burning up the chaff with unquenchable fire. So what does this mean? Well, from what we read, it's about a farmer who is planting wheat. And you have, if you have done any kind of farming, or know of anyone who does farming, then you would know that not every fruit or vegetable, or in this case, wheat, turns out as you hope. I mean, I know. My grandparents have a garden in their backyard, and not every tomato and pavica and pardoblinia turns out how you want it to. I mean, like, no, the curries and thorns are good and everything, but not every vegetable and fruit and wheat ends up perfect. So in this verse, the farmer is separating all the good wheat from the chaff. This basically refers to us being the good wheat, and all the chaff, which was like the non-believers, are basically thrown into the fire. But why do you think some of the wheat ended up good and while the others ended up as chaff? Well, the good probably took in all the nutrients it needed, and yeah. Well, just like that, we need to take in our nutrients, in other words, the word of God, and without it, we'll end up like the chaff being burned in the fire. Not only that, we have to make known the word of God to the other people. The will of Jesus is for us to bring forth good fruit in order for us we, in order for us to do that, we need to meditate on the word of God. Otherwise we'll end up like the chaff being thrown into fire. We are here to spread God's good word. God bless. Amen. Well, that concludes our fifth annual Sunday School Anniversary. Can we give a round of applause to all the students who worked very hard? And not only that, I'd like to thank all the teachers who taught their kids the whole entire year, who had the patience, and who came on time, and who um, dedicated at least 30 minutes on Sunday to teach them. So can we give a round of applause to them? And And we have to most importantly thank our principal, Sam Sinungo. He's, he's, he's the one that chose the teachers and told them to be on time. And, it, and so now we have our guests, everyone's all the small kids' favorite part, the awards. So I'd like to invite Pastor to come up here and hand, hand up the awards to everybody. 
I want to uh, put some. Okay. Uh, 